Is that what I look like? What like, the? F <laughs> that's not bad. I don't know, man. I don't think Maybe that's that bad. Dysmorphia, dude. All right. Yeah. Yeah, you don't look bad. Thanks. I think, hey, you, I think you look. Do I look, I look bad? I look no, you look great. And I wasn't fishing, but I, I like what I caught. I, I, I am fishing. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. You look great. Love the I, pink I'm pants. Tem I'm temperamental, right? Yeah, yeah, I can feel it. Yeah, right? I'm going to need you to tone it down a little I bit. I should. I want to. Hit the smoke, Michael! Fuck it! <laughs> My balls is totally moving! Do it in Screw it. Let's just blind each other for the rest of the, for the whole show. Wow, that's even more blinding. Don't give up, Michael. I don't need um, eyes. This show. I saw after. the guest before I went blind today, so it's fine. Uh, Joel, you're here, right? Yeah, I'm yeah, here, good, right here. Good. Are you? No. Okay. A little bit. Okay. In bursts. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna. Connect. I like you, man. I like you too. It's weird because you like you. Said hello to me and I was like, that guy's real nice. Okay. And then I didn't know who you were. And <laughs> you then, and that, nobody and then else. I Google, and then I didn't Google it, but I like clicked on some stuff. Uh huh. I think I already followed you. On, I don't know what's yeah. going on. I hit yeah. my head a lot. I might actually be uh, in trouble. Somebody called the other day and I think they were mean and they tried to call a Patreon to tell me that I have uh, like the brain damage thing yeah, and I'm going to kill it. Yeah. 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 I'm like, cool. Because there's no cure for that. The E stands for Ellis. Right, but the difference is, is I wasn't using it all anyway. So your I, brain? Yeah, yeah, that's probably true. And they say we only use ten percent, <laughs> right? Right. From Lucy, the movie Lucy. If you use a hundred, you can just disappear into a computer, and then I can control all yeah. of you. It would actually be dangerous, right? If you could use your whole brain, right? That's why I feel like I'm probably using about thirty-five, but I, think I this knocked. Is like 20 of it out okay so i'm running with about 15 i'm smarter now than i was when i was 20 interesting i'm smarter now than i was when i was 30 i'm smarter now than i was when i was 40 but you're dumber than you will be when you're 100 yeah yeah cool oh it's about to go on the decline for this sure. is this is peak brain i think so i've got about i reckon so, soak it up baby i know yeah. thank <laughs> shout out to dr khan of Conivo Con conivore 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 wellness because i do peptides and i think that that sh the peptides will get me keep me going for the next 10 years and then and then i will die so carnivore wellness also sees human patients it's fair <laughs> it's totally fair yeah Speaking of uh, being an asshole and roasting people, uh, man, I went down a, a rabbit hole with you. I, I love Kill Tony. Okay. But I'm new to Kill Tony. Gotcha. So yeah. I'm maybe a year in. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, this is like the best podcast out. Yeah. And then they were already in Texas when I started listening. Yeah. So, but they were at the comedy store because I hear him talk about it all the time. And then I go on the YouTubes because they love me there. And you're on there. You're the drummer. Yeah. And you, and then yeah. I saw a drum off. Yeah. Because I, 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 I know the Mexican drum offs. I've what I've listened to tons. I don't watch it. I listen in the car. So I don't know who anybody is. Yeah. And then I realized that you're that you were the drummer and then you had a drum off with two of the gnarliest drummers in the history of Kill Tony. Yeah. Yeah. And you I was like, because I saw you play drums and I was like, yeah, these guys might have you because yeah. they seemed like metal tech and I'm of like, course. you seem more like punk rock. Yeah. But you did you i was like this you're gonna get screwed right now yeah and you've destroyed them and they i think the first guy was technically because he was doing some stuff where i was like i don't like your music but 
I can tell that's difficult. Yeah. Like there was. Was some... it the two in a row? Yeah. Like a, yeah. Fuck that. Dude. Up, what, I was like, what is that? Is that really happening? I was dying of a panic attack that was, before. I yeah. bet. Be, yeah. be, but dude, you came out and and then and then all the roasts. I saw like a highlight reel of just all your. This guy looks like this. This guy looks like that. <laughs> and I'm like, man, that's high level. Uh-huh. The highest level because man. you're there on the on the sickest bone podcast in the world, hmm. and your bones are as sick as Tony Hinchcliffe. Damn, if not yeah. sicker. From that video I saw, that there's ones where you can tell you break him. Yeah, he's yeah. like, at, and then what is I'm new. So what yeah, is yeah, Joel yeah. Berg? So Joel Berg started because uh, when I was just the drummer, I didn't have a mic, and uh, I would feed jokes to the dudes in front of me, but they would never work because it wasn't their voice. It was right. already. The timing had moved. So one day my buddy's like, you should say it. And I started saying it. And then uh, you remember the wrestler Goldberg? Yeah. So he was like on a win streak of like whatever. And uh, one day uh, Tony just said, oh, that's that's Joel Jimenez. He's on a Bill Goldberg like streak. And I said, Joel Berg. And then it just like stuck, became a thing. Every time he burns somebody to a crisp, the crowd starts Joel Berging. Yeah. It's wild. Like whether you like it or not. I got it in Australia. Wait. Kill Tony was in Australia. Yeah, we did Australia. We did uh, Brisbane, Melbourne, and Sydney. And everybody knows the podcast because po- podcasts are global. And it was just like you were in another yeah, club. It was everybody gets it. Wild man. The Joel yeah. Bergs were flying. They sound more mentally challenged, but <laughs> Eli, I love your accent. That's no, fun. I don't know why I went there. What the fuck is wrong with me? Why would I? It's all right. I said. Oh my god. I said what at the start of the sh- at the ve- the first. Think Melka can beep that out, but we're good. I didn't know this was a Christian podcast. It's right? not. It's a YouTube podcast, which is the same thing. Yeah. Okay. It's not about. I'm. I'm not even. I don't. Don't. <laughs> if I. Not. I'm not going to say it. Everybody's great. I love everybody. I like all the people, even the people that don't want me to do anything that I want to do. Yeah. Because you, I want to live your life. Yeah. You're good. You should do 50 in the fast lane on the freeway. All of you people should not explode yourselves. Remember scanners? Yes. I wish I had the power. <laughs> Could you imagine though? To do that. Refre- I know it's dangerous. memory. Scanners is the guy that can just, he just starts like thinking and then I make your brain explode. Mm. Your head explodes. Right. Explodes. Yes. But first you go like, oh, oh, oh and bend yeah, yeah. your head fully pops. To the dude. point where you're, all, it's almost like a relief. You're when dead. Your head pops. You're yeah. dead. Yeah. You're fully dead. Right. Yeah. That's that 100% brain power. Right. That's what I want. That's why people can't be trusted with. When I'm 89, that's when I'll have that. And if you do 55, because I'll, I'll mark my words, I'll be speeding. I, I love all these riffs you guys are doing right now, but I'm still in my head about saying that the Australian people's voices sounded mentally challenged. And I, I love get, Australia. Yeah, I what a beautiful trip, place. You're never going back. Oh, they love me there. It's going to be fine. You know what's crazy? The people who are chanting for you there, how many of them even know who Goldberg is? I don't know. What do you mean? Wrestling's in Australia. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Especially that era. Oh, yeah? I knew Goldberg from Australia. Really? Yeah. Mm. Wow. Because I'd been here, I was like, he used to play football, right? Uh huh. Because I, because yeah. because of his finishing move, and yeah. I was like, mm-hmm. I've seen that before in the American football. He, play, he plays American rules. It's gridiron, right? mate. It's called gridiron over there. You sound like an alien trying to fit in. I'm trying to go back. Life. Yeah. Trying to go back to who I was. Yeah. Yeah, gridiron. Yeah, you guys are you guys wear pads though. You guys are pussies. That's what we used to say. Pussies got pads on. That's we true. shoulder block, no pads. Damn. That, well, then that explains the brain, all that. Oh, I've got tons. Yeah, through. that guy might have been right. Yeah. But I know you right now. Uh huh. That's right. I know right. I'm on the air. Uh huh. I know I've got a Patreon running. That's Tully. You know, I'm all right. The fundamentals are strong. That's all. I'm working on salsa dance, and I'm getting better. Really? Yeah. Why people move their shoulders and head? Uh-huh. I was told today. And you're and not I, supposed to. I hate to. white people. Huh. And as soon as I heard that, I was like, oh, God. There's something white about me. For sure. Because <laughs> he, you know I mean? he called it. But then yeah. I eradicated it. Yeah. But, but it makes me angry. So now I dance with an angry face because I'm angry at my Caucasian side trying to move its shoulders. And I'm yeah. like, shut up. What have you done for me? Honestly. And then why did you get into the, Is it for fighting? Yeah, originally, yeah. You wanted to be smoother. Yeah, it's better footwork, footwork and yeah. stuff, yeah. But also, I just started to fall in love with salsa. Huh. I don't know why. I hate maybe dancing. My, maybe my friend, because, you know, he, Cuban people, it rub, rub, rubbed off. I don't know what happened. But huh. I really like Cuban people. Okay. And I want to be Cuban. Okay. I want to move to Cuba and wear like a t- flower shirt. Yeah. 
a in Miami, yeah, in the gold, big gold chain, uh-huh. and dance so smooth that all the hot, real big uh, black ladies, uh huh, Afro Cuban, they come dance on me and stuff, and I'm like, hey, that's a really long way to yeah. <laughs> go for a small drink of water. I'm not even gonna bone them, yeah, I know, because they're like, hey, no just, way, you're gonna plow in Castro's, probably, Cuba. probably. Yeah. Are you going to Cuba? Is that do you have that plan? Eventually, when they deport me here okay, or something. Cool. Yeah. All right. So next week, yeah, when <laughs> Ron DeSantis takes over and they ban all gays, half a gay, it's like uh, half of me has to leave. Then the whole of me has to yeah, leave. You know, yeah. you can't cut me the gay out, send it back to where I came from. Yeah. You can't just hang your so anus off the end of you. a pier. That's the straight. <laughs> that's a straight part of me, Michael. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Is it? I mean, it was until I broke it. Yeah. Hell yeah. You hate dancing. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't enjoy dancing, but I've never thought to go that far. What is dancing I, I just I don't know what to do with my face. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm so insecure. I feel like if I could wear a mask, I'd That's be really problem. good you at gotta, it. That's the problem. you got to have a confident face. Yeah, never going to happen. You don't even happen. have to dance good. If you have a confident face, mm-hmm. you're ripping. Yeah, not yeah. Gonna, yeah, it's not going to happen. I was always a better dancer when I was drunk because uh-huh. I was For absolutely sure. positive that I was cutting up a rug. Uh-huh. But then I realized that I wasn't. Yeah. And then I, I had to get sober, and I was like, oh, man. I mean, my whole life is going to be lame now. So I'm just going to pretend I'm drunk. Yeah, the only times I've danced is when I was, like, near blackout. <laughs> yeah, I just let it go now. I'm like, you know what? Especially, you know, when you talk about blowing dudes on camera, it's pretty much over for me. Bad dancing is, like, the lead. You know I mean, yeah. see all this bad dancing? I think dancing is more embarrassing. Really? Yeah. I'd probably rather blow a dude on camera than dance. Wow. Yeah. That's how much... That's the visceral, like reaction i have to dancing wait like dance anywhere yeah kind of i like break dancing but i can't that's do, like I can, the same th- but it's Get different this man a cardboard box yeah what kind of moves do you have break dancing i can do like half a windmill oh that's pretty i crap. could do like a leg skippy thing i got a little bit of like a, a brock sort of helicopter situation. what's that right no <laughs> backspin i can do a backspin right yeah i can maybe do a bit of a head spin no maybe a little bit but like one rotation maybe like a quarter that's pr- I, I used to be able to do that <laughs> yeah yeah like hell a yeah. quarter of a rotation hell yeah yeah this I, is this is a trip for me because i've i've known sport. i grew up skateboarding so i've known oh. about you my whole life man the red dragon and oh. all that stuff yeah i remember seeing you in uh mike v's greatest hits when you guys are talking about the yeah. was it england or the yeah, england fight? yeah you were gonna fight well he got in a fight with everybody yeah in there and then I ha- I went in. Nobody was going to Think about your him. kids, man. Nobody. Was- yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I also, I got it because I'm, I got problems too. So I, no I shit. saw it. You know what I mean? And I was like, I don't, I'm not, I don't take this as a bad parent. I take this as there's a, there's a fire in him. Uh-huh. And, and when you, when it's up, when it's up, you can't put it out until it needs, it needs a lot. It needs yeah. a lot to put it out. Yeah. And I was like, let's just go with it. I think I can tell. To, like, yeah. if you try to like calm him down, he'll fight you. Oh yeah, yeah. So for I sure. was just like, let's get these guys. Let's get out of here, and then let's get these guys. And yeah. he was like, that's a deal, man. And then we didn't get those guys. But I was surprised that nobody else helped him. Yeah, like I just showed up, and it was already happening. Yeah, which means people knew for at least twenty seconds, maybe a minute. I don't know. I when I when I showed up, they were like, dude, your boy's in trouble, and I'm like, wait. What are you all doing? Yeah, he's your boy too. He's our boy. Yeah, you know, like we're, he's all of our boy. He is. <laughs> well, that's when you find out who's comfortable in those situations and who wants no I, part of it. I'm not you know? comfortable in yeah, those situations. That's fair. I'm yeah. not. I, I, I like fighting in the gym, but I don't mm. like confrontation. Yeah, at all. So wow. I'm, scared. Paint, paint, I'm scared. Paint the picture of what you're talking about for people who don't know or have forgotten. I went into a stadium, like a football stadium, as an indoor stadium, and then when I got in there, skate parks, all, I mean, the whole area is all floored off ramps and streets course and all that stuff, and I'm off the side of the stadium, and there's a big group of skaters, and I go up to them, and they're like, dude, your boy is in trouble, and I go, what, who, what are you talking about, and they point to these doors that like f- the rev- doors that go in and out or whatever like and saloon it, doors and you can see the window that goes the stairs that goes out of the bi- out of the stadium and there's a fight on the other side of the doors and i see mike and a, like it looked like 20 people to me <sighs> and i'm like what so i you know i mean i was like 20 people on mike yeah i don't i don't have a choice like you can't i was i wasn't going there to be like i'm gonna wreck shot yeah. i was like i'm gonna help, help my friend him yeah. get out of there yeah and then when I got in there, 
you know, like they were, they were real tough guys. You know, that was that's why it happened because Mike, they wouldn't let his kid and his wife in, and mm-hmm. he was like, really? Yeah. And and everyone was like, dude, come on, it's his wife, and they're like, nah, no pass, screw that. And then it turned into an altercation where Mike punches pretty quick, so he's punching, and these guys, I could tell, as soon as I got in there, the first guy that saw me. He just got, I just know that look. Like he's been in tons of bar fights. He's a yeah. bar fighter. He's a tough guy. Yeah. And he was older than me. And, you know, he was grabbing onto me and I was trying to grab Mike. And, and then I saw the kids and that's when everything changed. I was like, oh my God, wait, it's just Mike and his kid and his wife. Yeah. You guys are sick. You said they were like between his legs or something. He was yeah. like, yeah. On the sta- on the, he was standing on the stairs and yeah. they were between his legs. And he was punching them while they were punching him. So I punched that guy. You know, because I could tell he's going to punch me. So I punched him and he just ate it and punched me back. And it hurt really bad. And I was like, oh my God, like this, I'm going to get knocked out on this staircase. And then I tucked my head because he was still trying to punch me. And I grabbed him, Mike, by the back of the pants. And then grabbed his wife who had the kid and just started marching up. <laughs> while people were punching me in the head <laughs> to get him up the top of the stairs. And then I got him up the top of the stairs and kicked the table over and a kid flying and then out the door. And I don't know if that's the one where he, he said he grabs them both by the head and like threw himself back down the stairs or something. But there's a, a bunch of fights in that DVD. I mean, he's had a lot of fights. Yeah, but I remember so that, the, the sound bite being you going, think of your kids. I did say that. Yeah. Because when we got to the top, and we could go out the door, he posted up yeah. and was like, right, let's go. And uh, and they were on the ground screaming. Yeah. And I was like, dude, the kids. Yeah. The, you know what I mean? And he was like, I saw him, but he saw it. He was like, oh, you know what I mean? And I was like, I know, I know. Just get him out and then we'll, then we'll get him. You know what I mean? Yeah, and yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. And then when we got out there, I was like, dude, come on, man. Yeah. Like, like now there's, now there really is 20 of them. Like, we cool. don't need to go back in there. And then we went back in there and I think they were like reprimanded because it was, wasn't was what they were doing was not what yeah. they were supposed to be doing. Man. I think they accidentally hired some heavier dudes than... Yeah. And they, they were like, like hey, the man. Stones just hiring, thugs. The, I know, the I know, Stones hiring the Hells, Hells Angels. Angels. Like, I know it's only skateboarding, but you kind of hit like the star of the show. <laughs> right. Oof. And that's kind of like because he was trying to have his children and his <laughs> wife here. Maybe it's, next time you're g- kind give, of his wife, give his wife a lanyard. Yeah. Yeah, man. Do you ever like look back at those because street fights now at my age, I'm like, that's it's so dumb. It's so dangerous. I, I'm surprised more people don't just like die all the time from altercations in the street. You know, when I was 17. I was walking out of a club, two girls on either um, some dude punched me out in the face. Didn't even see it coming. Just punched me in the face because I had two chicks. Dang. And I was like, what the hell was that? And then I think I made the girls leave and then I uh, pushed him and then the cops showed up. No, like break it up. I was like, I just punched me for no reason. <laughs> and they're like, sorry, and I left like bitter. I bet and, we could trace then, your CTE through this podcast. With all these, but dude, the next weekend, <laughs> a guy at same age got punched in the face out the front of that club, <laughs> fell oh. over and hit his head on the curb and died. Oh man! And I, my stepmom told me, and I was like, it kind of hit home. I was like, yeah, wait, yeah, that could have been me. <laughs> that could have been me. So I've never, uh, my dad street he punched people a lot when I was growing up. Yeah. Isn't that and a it, thing? And I, it wrecked people. Like Australian I saw people's thing? teeth through their face. Oof. Like a lot of times, it was almost like guaranteed. If he got you, your teeth were coming out of your mouth. Man. And he was hands were all because he's hand. He had strong bones, so <laughs> weak skin is what I used to think it was. Because <laughs> he'd hit stuff and his skin would rip open, but his bones wouldn't break. Yeah. And he'd break whatever he hit. Yeah. And it would always, you know, and he'd switch. He'd be like, don't do it, don't do it. And then he'd go, and then no one can stop him. Everyone's got to get out of the way. He's throwing punches around me. Like, man. Tried to break up fights with him and some other guy in the alleyway, and just they started throwing. I was standing right in the middle of him. I was like, Tick. and you're a kid. Yeah, that one I was a little bit older. I actually jumped in and beat that dude up a little <laughs> bit. But when I beat him up, I didn't beat him up to beat him up. I beat him up to stop. And I was like, just stop, and I'll let you go. <laughs> Cause he kicked dad in the chest and he it backed him into the wall. And I was like, that's enough. I'm not, I'm not going to watch that. And I, the dude was real tall and I jumped up, got him in the headlock and slammed his car door on his head crying, not tough crying. Stop. You know what I mean? Just stop. He's like, all right, I'll stop. And I pushed him in the car and I walk off towards the car, my dad's car with him. And he goes, you took your time, didn't you? And I looked at him like, what? 
And he's like, I'm joking, you know. And, yeah. he, and I was like, can I get a ride home? He's like, nah, see ya. He left me. I had to catch a train home. I was wow. like, dude, I just. Yeah, it was a weird. It was a weird world. I'm is, weird. Is that a like? I'm I, kind of angry about it. I feel like those people did stuff I'll never get over. Yeah, it seems like it stays with you, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Isn't there like an Australian thing called like the King's Punch? People were going around like just sucking random people in the streets. We've. That's not Australia. It's that's a, everybody. Okay. Okay. All that right, was. That Australia. might have even been. That was an American thing. Okay. There like was a knockout game yeah. thing. Fuck that. Yeah, there's man. some bad there's some bad people out there. Yeah. That's the other thing. Bad people that triggers me. Like mm. if I'm around and you're doing that, it's hard for me not to regulate. Yeah. You know, like if you're just like inappropriate and bullying or whatever. Yeah, for sure. I feel my blood boiling. That's probably good. It's not because well, you can't it's not like it never works out yeah you know like the, you're the hero yeah. you're not <laughs> yeah yeah like you it, i'd be the hero if i could do it calmly mm. but like by the time i'm throwing <laughs> you're now you're the evil person. i'm bad i'm gonna look bad yeah like when you're asleep and i'm screaming over the top of you like it's such a god <laughs> who's next you know what i mean and people are like what the hell's wrong with that guy and i'm like that guy was picking on that lady yeah. you know what I mean? yeah it's for not, sure i know it's, it's way far gone i'm sure the tattoo if i was like james bond it. i could be like Psh! you know like now settle down You know what I mean yeah. Don't worry I've got it under control I'm, I don't look like that I don't say that Yeah I say, Stay down There's plenty more Where that came from <laughs> I yeah. wish man <laughs> So it's best Just to get out of there Joel did you grow up in Like a punk rock scene Punk rock Yeah, yeah Where'd yeah. the drumming come from Uh, From that I mean I grew up in LA I'm from northeast LA Like they call it Frogtown It's like by Dodger Stadium Um, I was always the kid drumming And uh, my parents got me a kit For Christmas When I turned 14 uh, started doing Ramones covers and just formed a band and started playing, got involved in all that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm wondering, I mean, you must have seen some fights and stuff. And Oh, yeah, for up. sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I grew up around it. I was never, I mean, I got fucked with a lot. I, I probably got in a couple of fights as like a kid. Just like people messed with me because I skateboarded and didn't like. Uh, it's hard to believe for people now how, with how cool skateboarding has become, but it was like, I remember it, in my neighborhood, it was not like that. It was like Cholos yeah. and people played basketball and that was it. And I was maybe one of five skateboarders in my entire neighborhood. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you see, you see shit like that all the time. I, I used to get yeah. beat up at school for being a skateboarder. Man. People would accuse me of, uh, having sex with sharks, which okay. I thought was always weird because it was, they, the, the, they would call me a shark effer. Okay, and I'm like, what? Why? And it's because you're a surfer, and I'm like, I'm not a surfer. Ah. And it's like, well, we don't know anything else. Yeah, <laughs> you go on sideways, you have sex with sharks. <laughs> and I'm like, all right. Also, sex with a shark sounds pretty bad. You're a ba you are a beast yeah. if you do that. Yeah, I mean, if you get eaten, then it's not really that. It's just like well, suicide. I but if you bone sharks and then swim away, yeah, yeah you're a man's man. And the shark Stay says, there. "Call That's me." Or a woman's woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, as long as you stay cool while you're having sex with the shark. Yeah, and if the fun. shark is consenting, then you're really good at it. Obviously, it's consenting. Yeah, sharks. There's no me. other way if you think about it. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're yeah, right. Yeah, you are spot on. Right. Yeah, Fuck. it's okay. I think we're okay. Good. Some kid got probably bit by a shark in New Jersey. Yeah. Is that how healthy is a Jersey shark? <laughs> Not healthy right? at all, man. Like, yeah. what kind of what conditions is? Yeah, he seems like the Probably kind smoke, of like smokes Newports. He's like yeah. the kind of shark that grew up like his mum giving him like uh, lunchables. <laughs> I thought like hoagies. Yeah, just not healthy. Yeah, I bet yeah. you if you could swim a little bit, he'd gas out. You know? Quarter waters. Yeah. Uh, a couple of pokes. I feel like you're unfairly stereotyping my people. Oh, are you from New Jersey? <laughs> yeah. It's just oh, let's keep going it's then. It's not you. It's <laughs> the other people from Jersey I've met. I think you've I like unfairly stereotyped your people. You want to see the kid's foot? I don't know. They don't even know for sure if it was a shark. But What? I'm just surprised. Wait a minute. I'm His foot came off. <laughs> No, 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 no. He just has some, like, puncture stuff that they think is consistent with. Oh, you, if you get bit by anything in the sea and you don't know for sure, you say it's, say a, it's shark. a shark. Yeah. You, I, yeah. I've always, this is my greatest fantasy. Yeah. Is to have a shark bite. Yeah. And live. And, and fucking. But on video. On video. Suck it and get away, yeah. Do you know Nick Fanning? Is that Mick the guy Fanning, that punched sorry? the shark? The yeah. surfer? Yeah. yeah what surfer. a badass story, Dude, man. Did you know that he gave me a surfboard the other day? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm, you do have sex with sharks. Yeah, no, it's true. <laughs> Hume deodorant. They love this one. If anybody wants to get Hume deodorant, that's my company. But I, my business partner was like, 
hey man, I got a package for you. I meet you at the ramp, and he gave me some deodorant, and then he gave Oof. me a surfboard. And I'm like, what's this? Dang. He's like, yeah, uh, Fanning gave it to gave it to me to give to you. And oh I'm like, yeah. Okay, cool. Do you surf at all? Really badly. Okay, but yeah, barely too. too. Yeah. Suck so bad. I want to go to that fake wave thing again. Yeah, I went. Tony cool. took me, and I got to surf there. Wow. But it was in the winter, and the water was like uh 50 whoa yeah it just takes the fun out of it unless yeah. you're really good but when you just pat around like a drowning seal <laughs> yeah frozen and frozen it's not as cool Man. you know so summertime shorts that sounds great. hours and hours of like i get a wave i get a wave mm -hmm. i reckon by the end of the weekend i'll be like uh get up sh off the lipo off the lipo i bet shred. yeah your nipples will think. be completely gone. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I keep thinking. Of, yeah, there's a lot of bummers about surfing. I love it. I always wanted to be a surfer, You're man. Not I a just surfer? No, I can't. I tried. I'm not good at it. I can stand up. Yeah. You're, I don't have the arm strength I think it takes to I, paddle. Yeah. But I think I it's technique. Cast, yeah. No, it's total technique. Because one time, an old fat guy <laughs> next to me, I paddle, and he paddled past me and got okay. the wave. And I was like, <laughs> dude, okay something's up yeah it's technique it's the way they're like catching it but uh this guy was like straight like come around 311 fat yeah. like <laughs> not, no, no. sublime two joints out in the day he had like two joints before yeah. he got on the board and, and he just went it looked like he had an engine damn there's a special breed of fat guys not all fat guys are made the same because every sport i've ever yeah. done mark hunt like, there's always been just yeah. like like i swim and there's just always some fat dude who's yeah. just like not even trying who's like three times better than everybody yeah. else. do you surf yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. One time he went yeah. for one glorious moment. Yeah. I stood up at about nine inches of water. Do you know Man. who Jonathan Freeman is? No. He's a surf extravaganza. Okay. He's on the show a lot. He can get anyone to surf. Damn. He's wow. a really and, fun and, guy. And, and, yeah, I'd love to meet him. We yeah. should all go. I would love that. We should do the Jason L show at the Wave Pool in Austin, Texas. Is that Danny Ways? No. Doesn't he like own one of no, those? No, you're talking about Kelly Slater. Oh, Kel okay, never mind. Yeah, Kelly Slater's a surfer. Danny Way's. A surfer. No, I know that. Well, then why would I he thought have Danny his Way? Wave? I thought Danny. You know what? You realize you kind of sound a little bit down now. Well, they all kind of look alike you know, to you me. Got, and that's really. That, what do you, wait? What? I'm what, sorry. Uh, let's just move, <laughs> let's move on. Look at this shark bite in this yeah, guy's yeah. leg. It's really incredible. Yeah, like you're attacking white people and you're attacking. I'm allowed to attack white people. You're yeah. not. I. You're I beg what, to what differ. Are you? What are you? I'm Mexican. Right. So yeah. You better watch it. I don't know. I'm getting that... offended. Well. I'm really not. I hate okay, white cool. people probably more than you. <laughs> I thought, yeah. I'm not white. I'm Australian. Mm. It's different. Yeah. I'm lying, but it makes me feel better every time I say okay. it. Okay, yeah. Can you understand that? Yeah, I do. I like Mexican people a lot. Okay, thank you. Like, I feel like I <laughs> Pass probably should <laughs> Yeah, make sure. Hey, can you make sure you tell them that? I'll let them know. Good. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. I need I need them to know. I, I want to I want to have sex with all, all your women, but only okay. if they want to have sex with me. Like not I'm not trying to rape anybody. Oh, you're fetishizing. No, our I want to have sex with all brown people. <laughs> okay. More than white people. Okay. S s some yeah, I don't really want to. I don't like white guys. I like like not you. Don't, that's weird. Relax. No, whatever. I'm fine. I'm relaxed. I know, but I'm not. It's I'm okay. not like that. But like. <laughs> like what? I like black guys. Okay. Yeah. Black chicks. Arguably one of the it's hottest pretty hard type to of guys. Say no. Black guys. I like tattooed white chicks. Okay. But I don't like tattooed white guys. Huh. White guys are just stupid. Yeah. Hey, everybody. We're talking about fume. Do you like to play with things? I do. <laughs> I find fume keeps my hands busy so that I can fidget around and play with things and, uh, and I enjoy their flavors as well. There are certain habits. Yeah. Fidgety things that you might like to do with your hands. Things you might even like the taste of. Yeah, I that, like bad habits, Michael. That can be bad. I gotta stop that. Well, that's where fume comes in. I it, like the wooden bit. It feels right in your hand. It's got a twisty thing. It's an award-nominated device. And... and mm. And I feel like if I was like a, a, a mouse yeah. and I was making pizza, that would be a real good thing to need my bread to make the pizza crust. What can't this little puppy do? Right. You can enjoy it 
anywhere you want, anytime True. you want. There's no electronics or any of that stuff in there, Michael. It's just it's just flavored air. Stopping is something we all put off because it's hard. But switching to, switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun. Fume has served over 100,000 customers and has thousands of success stories. There's no reason that can't be you. We could probably give you a discount, too, if you care. Join Fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com and use code Jason to save 10% off when you get the journey pack today. That's tryfum.com and use code Jason to save an additional 10% off your order today. Play with yourself the healthy way. I'm not like a... I've never met a white guy I've wanted to have sex with. Hmm. Have I had sex with a white guy? Sure. Yeah. But that's different. Yeah. <laughs> I said it to start the way. show that I hit great my head a, r- a lot, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm working on head movement, Joel. Okay. What kind? I think the head movement is Shut what's up, messing Katie. you up, man. It's yeah. You're you're rattling that brain around every time you do this. I can hear it. Maybe you should get a couple of tips from me, and you'd be able to suck dick better. <laughs> Remember that one time that I beat you in a dick sucking contest? It's true. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Congrats, I was pretty You're good at a lot of things, I Jason. I'm <laughs> I am. What? I'm, do that. I'm, not sp- I'm supposed to say, oh, nah. No, I am. no, I like oh, it. I'm Own amazing. It. Yeah. I know, I know. No, if I was like unscarred, mm. I'd probably be really cool. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're really cool now. I just keep damaging myself. What is that thing where you try to wreck yourself when you get Self, oh, uh, self, self sabotage. Uh, self sabotage. Yeah, yeah. Story of my life. I feel life. like I don't deserve it, you know? Yeah. Deep down. Yeah. Mm. Even That's... though at this point, I feel like I do. Yeah. I've paid enough. You now, feel the same way? I paid in full, just like uh, Poirier. Okay. It's so trying to say like Gangsta. Wait, yeah. no, that's Rakim, right? Paid in full. Never yeah. mind. And Dustin Poirier. Okay. And, yeah, thank you, Michael. More importantly, Dustin Poirier. Yeah. The most recent man that paid it in full. Shout out. I like you that feel guy. that you also engage in self sabotage? Oh yeah, constantly. How yeah, because so? you're a talent. Thank you. You do great. And, you're sponsored uh, by Ludwig. Yeah, that's wild. Wait, what? Yeah, that's How'd the you classiest. Do that? That's the classiest um, of all drum brands. So, so they. I know, I know why. I just realized. I saw the drum off. Like, I, you should be. Yeah. You should have a signature drum. Kit. Thanks. Yeah, you hear that, everybody? Please send it to my house. I. Uh, no, but uh, my friends went to Nam, and one of their reps was a fan of Kill Tony, and he chased after them and said, I already cleared it with my boss to get Joel a kit. Here's my card. I hit him up on a Monday. I had the kit on a Friday. You don't seem that old. Okay. You, you went to Nam? To Nam. What's what's Nam? <laughs> it's like a music. That was, I like what you did there. I wish yeah. I thought of it, and I'm kind of angry about it. Yeah. Yeah. But That was nice am of Charlie I, to give you drums. Am I yeah. that dumb <laughs> or am I that brilliant? I yeah. think both can be true. Uh, yeah, I think it, you're probably, both. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. Anyway. Uh. But yeah, I don't. I forgot. But I. Yeah, I self sabotage a lot, and I think I have imposter syndrome. Uh. Constantly. I. Because you never feel like you're the one that should be doing these things, but just from being around and doing it. You uh. know. Also, how old do I look? Fifty three. I don't like this game. Thirty <laughs> eight. I'm thirty six. This <laughs> fucking sucks. I hate this. Wait, but was I supposed to say I like eighteen or something? Yeah. I was gonna say fourteen. Yeah, I see. I see from a distance <laughs> how you can see that you look young. Yeah, but the lights are on, <laughs> you dude. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be twenty-five and talk the way yeah. you talk. You got experience. Yeah, you can't be in your early twenties and brag about your breakdance. Yeah, what's your? I said <laughs> nothing cares? about early twenties. Why? Are you All so- right, maybe thirty-two. It's oh, 34. That, it's just a few. It was just a two, four years. You went past my real age. Okay, sorry, man. You look like 35. If you had told me you were 35, great. If you had told me you were 30, I'd believe it. Okay. Is that okay? I think we're good now. I'm old, dude. At, at this point, when I add numbers, I'm I'm paying a compliment. Okay. It's like I, a lot of women won't go out with anybody, any guys that aren't over 40 because they're too st- 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 stupid mm. to want to have sex with. Okay. I get that. That's what all the ladies that have sex with me say. That you're too stupid. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I just I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, that's good. Me Joel too. Burke, Joel Burke, Joel Burke. Yeah, get me. I want it. I love uh, Kill Tony. This is as close as I'm gonna get. I don't know. They'd probably have you on. They probably wouldn't. But that's okay. <laughs> I'll make a few calls. And uh, nothing will happen. I no, I would yet. never. I. <laughs> they can leave. Well, I went to their town once and I, 
I went to Ken- their town. You mean Austin, Texas? <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. That's the only thing I listen to. So okay. as far as I know, it's theirs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Joe Rogan owns it. Vice president is is Tony. Tony, yeah. And then <laughs> you know, like, like whatever, like in charge of like uh, guns and tobacco is Red Man. Yeah, Red Man. You know? yeah. yeah, Red Man. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm new, but th- those guys are cool. They, but yeah, I went. I I didn't sleep, and I they I was on this secret show. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. And I was like real panicky and super depressed because I didn't sleep, and I was all oh. bummed out about my friend. And then I kind of felt dizzy before I went up, and I was like, I really don't want to go up. And then I went up, and some, and I started. I was like, I'll d- screw it. I'll talk about my gay stuff. I don't care if I'm in Texas. Yeah. That was a bad idea. It did not. It didn't go over. Nobody liked me and I bombed real hard. Maybe the hardest I've bombed uh, in my career. Wow. And then when, after it, I was like, oh, whatever. It happens, like they say. And then Tony Hinchcliffe came over and I was like, oh, he saw it. And then Shane Gillis came over and I was like, oh, oh, I didn't just bomb. And yeah. I bombed hard. Dude. And I was like, that's what I do. See you never. So cool. yeah, that's why I don't expect any. You're gonna do those jokes, Jason. Do a good show. I don't care if they don't like me. I think that shows that what freaking awesome. People that know, I think it's amazing how they do it. Yeah, how it works every time. For and sure, it's always exciting and it's always a little bit different because everybody that comes so up refillable. is a little uh, the interviews. Yeah, the way they work with each other. Kind of feel like the old band was. I don't want to say. It. Hey, you were awesome, dude. Thanks. Like yeah, it feels were. like a whole nother life now. You know, I've been yeah. off it maybe three years. Okay. So we went back recently to do an episode, me, Jeremiah, and Jesse. And I feel like 80 to 90% of the new crowd, they have no idea. Who yeah. They are. Yeah. Good catch there. I saw that. That was good. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. No flipping clue. No that's me. freaking idea. That's me. <laughs> yeah. Because I got on late, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, wow. And then they keep talking about the comedy stuff. I'm like, wait, this was at the comedy yeah. store? Yeah. Because it's all new to me. Yeah, we did it like five, six years at the store, man. Every Monday. Starting to catch on now. Gotcha. Awesome, though. You're regular at the store, right? Uh, No, I'm a door guy there. Yeah, I I haven't showcased to be a paid regular there. I would love to. That's the dream, man. Right. What do you mean showcase? So so that's like when you get your name on the wall, you're you're a paid regular there. Okay. And so the only way to really do that, unless you have crazy TV credits uh, or we're an ex-vert pro skater (laughs) or... Current. Wait, you're saying that I have more potential to be on that list than you? No, but I think that they you realize they like, might see you. I know seven people there, and that yeah, might, I you might have be no bragging. chance. I think that uh, yeah. no, I think to be a door guy is the one of the natural you're ways. You're one to of kind them of, too. Yeah, I am one. Yeah, <laughs> you're it, two of them, <laughs> dude. Oh, okay. I don't know anybody <laughs> there, dude. Every I'll, time I go there, they go, "Oh man, go in." I go, "Nah." Yeah, I, you know what though? I respect that. I like that because I think people walk around with too much confidence there. I don't know where That's it crazy. comes from. Yeah, good point. If you're not from, I don't. I've been in. I've been a pro skateboarder. I've paid my dues. Yeah, and I've seen people come and go. Yeah, and I just feel like I didn't start this. I I, I had a silver spoon. You know, I got, I got people are like, uh, like you just said, oh, skateboard radio guy. Mm-hmm. It's not nothing. I didn't it's, say it like that. You put a lot, you put a little bit on. I will. Way. I don't care. People, I'm, you know, I got, I know people. Yeah. You know, like Sickler had me up yeah. there. Jay, Big J did. Lewis did. Why did they have me up there? Because I know them. Because yeah. I was on the air with them before. Like those are foots in the door that none of those guys yeah. are going to get. So I totally get that. And I, and I don't feel, now I do worthy enough to be in there mm-hmm. but i ain't trying to push anything i before like i would say six months ago i didn't even feel worthy to to talk, like eye to eye contact with some of these people because i'm yeah. like dude what are you even doing in this green room like yeah just shut up and yeah. then when they tell you to do it do it and then get out you know like yeah because i feel like that's a great attitude you guys did it you guys are 20 30 years and i'm like oh i'm gonna be a comedian i know that a, a lot of people say that for the wrong reasons and and it's only natural for people to con- conclude that I too am in for the wrong reasons. Mm. You know, like I I know how to get good at stuff, and it's not be- so it can get popular. Yeah, it won't work. As far as I know, it won't work. Yeah, if you don't love it, for me, if yeah. I don't love it, then like surfing, I do it every now and then. I don't love it. Yeah, and I'll never be good good at it because yeah. I don't love it. Yeah, like skateboarding, I must know the answers. Yeah, comedy. I must know the answers. Yeah. Like when I go there and big guys are, or girls are doing it, like Mark Marin the other day, I didn't know he was going to be there. Yeah. And then he walked up. I was like, 
oh my god for sure and then i'm just watching it and then i went to the other room and he came out the other room I'm like nah twice in one night yeah and i'm and i know that brain it's the same as when i you know skateboarding yeah. tony hawk comes to town <gasps> what's what shoes he got on yeah how's he oh man he taps his board before you know like just analyzing yeah, yeah, the yeah. crap out of everybody sure, man yeah that's what it's the same thing so i already know what i'm gonna get out of it i'm gonna be good at it yeah and i don't care about the rest of that's it. great yeah. yeah i think i think people walk in there with like Man, I when I when I first went there, I was terrified. Man, just keep your head down, do your it's thing. A terrifying place. Look yeah. at all the people on the wall. This yeah. is legendary. I did a bringer show there, and I ran the light, and I was so depressed. For I was like, oh, I'm never working in this town again. Yeah, it's fucking over. That's because I. It's okay. I did I did a show with Brian Callen in Appleton, Wisconsin, and I was new to the light, mm -hmm. and I was finally getting something going, and the crowd was laughing, and I was just like, yeah. And then I see the other guy like walk over to the wall and I'm like, what are you doing there? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, oh, no. I didn't know. And I panicked and got off and I was like, I'm so sorry. And they're like, Dude, relax. We know you didn't mean it. Yeah. But I, I think I was just recently informed about T.I.'s visit to comedy mm -hmm. and everybody in comedy's opinion of him yeah. doing open mics and doing 45 minutes and just bumping the entire lineup. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, yeah. really? And I was like, don't even get close when yeah. i when i get the light i do, i'm like I, I know i see it now comics see the light and they go yeah. okay well it's just time for one more and i'm like one more like dude flex your ass like i see the light and i go hey everybody thanks for laughing with me like yeah, i get out because sure. i don't want anyone to think that i'm like that yeah there's a there's a great clip my buddy josh myrowitz he's a he hangs out at the store he's um he's got asperger's yeah um, wait what's asperger's it's a form of autism it's like a oh, type cool. of autism yeah. well one one night ti was on stage and josh doesn't have like any filter so he was like he just started like flashing the light at him and ti was like and he's like yeah yeah you got the light and then ti was ti said something like i'm not a comic i'm a superstar so then the crowd was like what whatever wait, but it's they like, clapped it yeah, because you know it was like it's Ti. The the audience is excited to see anybody famous, right? But I yeah. I thought it was so cool that Josh didn't care who it was. You're gonna respect these rules. No Remember when what. he did the music video where he's in the tour bus and he was lifting weights in the back of the tour bus and they were like five oh. pound dumbbells. I think I do. Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, if you got a gun, right, cool. But if you don't have a gun, you're a bitch. Try me. Yeah, I'll sleep you so quick. You can have your dumbbells. Jerk off. Do you have a gun? I got a lot of them. Okay, cool. It's not because I have a small penis. It's just because yeah. Uh, both I, both can be true. I know I know racist people, and I didn't know they were racist. And they were like, "You should shoot guns." And I, I grew up shooting guns. Mm. I maybe they were racist too. I don't know. I'm having trouble connecting all the dots to everything you say, but I but I love you. I get mixed up sometimes yeah. with people because I look like this. Mm. Not anymore. Because gotcha. now I'm very pink. Yeah, that's why I do that. Great, because they're like, you look like, and I'm like, I, I am not. Yeah, and they go, yeah, I think I can tell. No, 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 straight racist would wear those shoes. And yeah. I'm like, you're right. Yeah. So you don't need to help me anymore. Hell yeah. So now, I, yeah, I like guns, but I don't know about gun people. Yeah, me. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know if I like them either. I don't know why. I, I mean, not every, everybody, you know. Just yeah. Some people scare me. Speaking of how you look, I've I've been really considering tattooing my head as of recently. You should. I, yeah. Okay. Because you're going bald, right? Yeah. Yeah, you should. I just let it go. But you, you got that. I don't like the way you did that either. <laughs> Why? <laughs> but you are. Hey, it's a perfectly uh, natural wait, thing to happen when you're 39 years old. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's fucking it, man. This is a setup. <laughs> That's the one, two, Jason Ellis show punch right there. Wow. Joel Berg. Yeah. Okay, well, then maybe I'll do it. I want maybe a little rose. Just back here. don't. Everybody does. Don't, wait, you going to no? copy my rose? Yours are in the front. I have a rose on the back of oh, my you head do? right there. Yeah, it'll be black and gray. It'll be more like the ones in the front of your head, but yeah. in the back. Well, the, the sides in the back don't hurt. What about a Grim Reaper on the yeah. back? Because yeah, you're Mexican. Yeah. It's better. <laughs> I would like that. Yeah? A yeah. Grim Reaper? If you were like, what'd you say? I'd be like, nothing. Yeah. It's almost, it's almost too tough for me, but it's like... Nah, because you grew up in the... Like, you don't want to hurt anybody. No. But you've seen some stuff. Yeah. And people need to know that about you <laughs> so they don't put their foot in it. Because okay. you'll still go. I've seen you. Okay. You'll go. Okay. i seen a guy being all threatening on stage, and you were like, what? I ain't scared. And yeah. I was like, I believe you. Okay. I believed you. Okay. And if you had, had a Grim Reaper on your head, I'd be like, I definitely believe you. Okay. All right. I it's handy. It. Yeah. That's what it is handy for. All the crazy homeless, and they're probably not listening, but all the crazy homeless, 
Yeah. Are never crazy when I go there. Yeah. <laughs> they uncrazy straight away. And then yeah. stri- two nights ago, parking out the front of the store. Dude, out the front of the store with a bag, sitting on the conk on the ledge right there, screaming bloody murder about nothing. Mm-hmm. Top of his lungs. Everybody walking by. Yeah. Car parks. I get out of the car. My door is right where he's sitting. As soon as I open the door, I get out and I look at him. And he doesn't say, no more. Real quiet. He says, no more. Yeah. Nothing. And then when I get 20 feet away and I'm almost in the store, then I hear him go again. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's always been the way. Hell yeah. But you are, you are, I, you are like a, you can fight. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't, I'm not gonna. Yeah. I, I mean, think about I it. I mean, you don't, yeah, I will. I, uh, I do jujitsu a, a, yes. a lot, but I. Because you're fit. I'm trying. You're fit. Yeah. Thank you. I've seen you with your shirt off. Don't get weird. You're shredded. Yeah. No, I'm not weird, man. Yeah, it's all right. good. You bring, sure. bring it. Dude. I don't, don't want to sit on your lap right, right now. You like better watch done. yourself. I've, all right. We're good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I, and so sometimes when drunk, crazy people are at the store, I'm like, maybe I would like to test this out. See if I've learned anything. If it's one guy, why not? Yeah. But I don't know. This That could completely, <laughs> it could go the other way, you know. What uh, level are you at? I'm a white belt. How long have you been doing it? A few years off and on. The pandemic really took me out for a while. Yeah. So it was like, and I go like three, four times a week when I can. And you're a white belt? Uh, yeah. Is that the best one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You think white is the best? If you're in your 40s. Oh. Yeah. Is that what we're talking about? <laughs> uh, he would say that. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh, classic yeah, Classic, <laughs> Classic New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> New Jersey yeah. racist. Yeah. <laughs> it's Tully. In a nutshell. <laughs> I'm guilty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guilty, yeah. Um, I just think I've, I keep not, I'm not consistent enough. to. No, to, obviously, because yeah. you should be at least a blue belt. That's ridiculous. I'm going to walk off this show right now. I think I've been insulted multiple times. What? And Are you, sh- do you, do you need to just go get that belt real quick. I think I, I, think I might I soon. think you're ready for that. Yeah. Because if you're an athlete, if you can play drums like you can, so you're coordinated. Yeah. You grew up skating. Yeah. What kind of skating level are you at? Uh, I would say like I'm good until a good guy shows up. Right, but you're like, are you a street? I can dude? do it. Uh, I, I do all of it. Yeah, I do. I could do a 360 Tray flip? Er, early grab out of a quarter pipe. You know. Uh, oh, early grabs. Yeah. So you're like 90s style. Mike V was my guy. When so I you was do bonelesses? A little bit, yeah. But I can, yeah, I can kick flip. I can 5 oh, 180 can out. I can. Uh, can you kick flip like you catch slide. it or do you kick flip like it's a mongrel? Eh, not good. Right. Heel flips I can do good. And you'll catch it? Yeah. Right. So Front if pop. you can do a heel flip and catch it, then you should be a blue belt within two years. I think it's coming. Yeah. You They're must doing promotions soon in June, and I'm like, is it? Yeah. But, what, what place do you go to? 10th Planet. That's yeah, why. Yeah. They they don't give you I don't want to say the other one, but some people yeah. give you the belt so that you stay for sure. They, no, don't. they don't care. No. No. Yeah. I got I, I got my blue belt a long time ago and my coach said, "You're probably like I think it was like a year later. You're probably a purple belt, but you know, a little more time." Yeah. And I was like, "You just said it. Yeah. Give, give me it." But yeah. I didn't say that. What do you have now? Purple? To, I I didn't I got a blue belt. I don't really I didn't do that. Like I did jujitsu for years and never stayed with anybody. Mm-hmm. And then I actually got like privates from somebody gotcha. yeah, from yeah. 10th planet yeah. and trained for a year or two. Yeah. Was it a year? I don't know, but he gave me that. And then cool. I trained again and I was going to get purple belt. And then I blew my knee out. I tore my MCL off. Okay. And I had damn. to get a dead man's one put in damn. cadaver. Yeah. Whoa. With titanium. No. Kevlar and carbon fiber in my in my leg. Dang, it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a flex. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything cool though. Well said. Yeah. Thank no, you. You covered yourself Thank nicely. You. Yeah. How's your podcast? It's going great. Yeah, Just I have started two. with Chappelle, right? Yeah, yeah. I, have I got Dogs of Brown Town at the Comedy Store with my friend Hormoz and Saul, and then me and Chappelle. Do I know a, him. Yeah, music I podcast. Know, see, I know people there. Yeah, I know Chappelle too. Yeah, I we just did guy. it today. I was there right before I came here. So. And you're in a band with Chappelle. Yeah, Mad Peaceful. Yeah, I'm a drummer in a hardcore band. Dude. Mad Peaceful. Yeah, cause that's you. <laughs> that's Chappelle. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Toby was on one of yeah. your songs, right? Yeah, for sure. Great guy. Yeah, he's uh he's been real supportive and. When you were talking about doing the uh, the wave in the cold, I just did Toby's uh, cold ice plunge. plunge. I have it house. in the backyard too. Oof. I hooked him up with that thing. Okay. Yeah. It's gnarly, yeah. man. He might be my favorite person I've ever met in my life. Yeah, he's a great guy. Like as in a good person. Yeah. I don't think I've ever met a better person. Him and his whole family. Yeah. Every time I hang out with them, I feel good about me mm-hmm. when I go home. 
because he likes me. Yeah. And I'm like, if he likes me, for sure. I'm probably okay. Yeah. Because he's that good of a dude. Yeah, we did sauna and then cold plunge. And it was almost yeah. like his this sauna's awesome. Like spiritual thing where we were all kind of like bonding. It felt like a safe space in yeah, the sauna yeah. and like felt like a tribal thing. You it know? always it is like that with him. Yeah. He makes it feel like that no matter where you are. Yeah. He's the best. Yeah, it was awesome. But uh, that, cold plunge. Yeah, it was not my favorite. but No, but you got to. I, I do it every day. Dang. Now. I loved how I feel afterwards. Yeah, that's the... I, I feel like... Like, I'm sore. I started training a lot. Just real quick, I'll do a quick one. Can, uh, if you do Kratom, don't do it. That's real bad. Oh, super yeah. Super addictive. And when you get off it, you will know. It will be super, super bad. Talked to Drew Penske the other day about it and told him that I white-knuckled it. And he was like, please call me next time you decide Oof. to do that. And I was like, why? He's like, that's not how you do that. That's dangerous. A lot of people crack when they do that. It's like getting off opioids. And I was like, okay, good. Because, yeah, that was the hardest thing I've done in a long time. It was Man. borderline. I was like, I'm so embarrassed. But because I'm stinging so bad right now, it's surpassing the embarrassment of being a 51-year-old, like, successful guy who is kicking drugs. I'm like, you, you, somebody gave it to me for free. They paid me to use it. Yeah. It's like it loosens you up after you skate. I'm like, yeah, it does. I have a bottle sitting in my room that I'm not. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah, I know you told don't me. Don't do it. I won't. Yeah, I'm not gonna. If you great, do it. But I'm. If you haven't done it, I'm just being honest, man. If you get on it and then you try to stop, it's really bad. So if that doesn't bother you, then go ahead and do it. So anyway, where was I? It's okay. I hit my head a lot. I stopped doing that. Right. So I started working out a lot again. Started skating again. So now because I've had. I think once I, cause I, I got knocked out in Utah about 10 months ago. And ever since then, my neck has been wrong and I just haven't had the will to want to work out or skate. Cause I was just like, man, I think I'm done. Like I think yeah. my old body can't take it anymore. Cause my neck is just 10 months later. And my, if I move it fast, it's sprained oh, permanently. Yeah. So I've been really sore lately and I'm going through a divorce. So I'm like super depressed. And that thing is like a light. Mm. Like you can switch it on. Yeah. I've gone in there crying. You can't cry when you're freezing. Did you know that? Really? Yeah. It stops it. You can't. I tried. You can't. It's like I'm super. I'm bowling. Yeah, yeah you've done the research. I get in bowling. Maybe we should move to Antarctica. No, but then you get angry. Oh, okay. That's where <laughs> white people came from. That's right. That's why they're so mean. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I can't cry. Yeah. I'm angry. Yeah. 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 Yes. Ugh. That's what it is. Yeah. You go to the beach, man, and you have a big bowl. And you get it off your chest. Yeah. Go you to the, go to the beach. You there for a second. I'm always, man. man. <laughs> Love the beach. Life's a beach. I ris- I s- <laughs> you, you ever been to Bora Bora? I have not. I'm going to be famous one day, and then I'm going to go there. Okay. Yeah, have like, you ever, so you've never been? I'm, not just, fam- okay. I'm going to be rich, and then I'm yeah. going to go there, because you've got to be rich to go there. Maybe I'll go when I turn 39. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, that's not far away, right? No, about a year, <laughs> yeah. according to you two. <laughs> you could be 25. I don't know. Don't backtrack. It's fine. You did the damage just is saying. done. Yeah, sorry. It's hard I for just me to tell with bald guys. It's <laughs> 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 of all people. <laughs> Come on, Joel Berg. You'll be all right. Let me see your head. He's got. He's gonna bum you out. He's got full. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he probably might. He probably one of those. Assholes. Yeah, but if your head was a puzzle, there'd be a few pieces missing. Good luck. Yeah. Where's Kill Tony's Crab when you need him now? Ah, uh, nowhere. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Some speaking of brain damage. Hell yeah. Some lady. Give me some more. Knocked herself unconscious chasing cheese. Yeah. Who's no. cheese and why was, was she, she chasing yeah, him? Yeah, no. Hey. <laughs> I'm sweating. I bet she was too. <laughs> Just, I bet you were sweating just thinking about it. <laughs> That's right. Wait a minute. You ain't going anywhere, cheese. It's uh, the Where do you think you're going? It's the UK's original extreme oh, sport. UK sucks. They've been so doing bad. this. They've been doing this Those since the mid 1800s. Suck so bad. No comment. They're like the first white people, and then all the other white people made like we got so much cooler that they suck so bad. <laughs> I don't agree. I love England. Great nah. place. Beatles were good, but then they got old and died. Yeah. Nobody cares anymore. John Lennon was the last good Englishman. <laughs> I'll say whatever I want, as long as it's not a cuss word. That's what's pretty wild, is you could say yeah. crazy inflammatory stuff. 
Can you say the S word or is it just the F word? You can do like one or two, but you got to uh, watch it. I don't want to do We've it. We've already flexed. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. We're probably. We're yeah. Probably oh, yeah. Done. We're uh, yeah, living on the, uh, the edge. That was one of the greatest guitarists of our time. Sorry, I'm just saying words. That's I fine. hate that guy. Why you wear the beanie all the time? Just be bold like, like Joel. <laughs> <laughs> and me. Yeah. And me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. You? Yeah. It's like two titties. <laughs> you know, the twin titties of the show. Hell yeah. We're you take- sent a couple of videos we should get to before we wrap this up. Oh, man, we got to go? Not quite. Okay, good. Wait, how was she chasing cheese? So they've been yeah, running. Oh, yeah, that was, wow. I oh, they we roll gonna- it down the hill? Is it the cheese wheel oh! thing? Got to lead with oh, that. Oh, nah, nah. It was better he said it that way because I just imagined a really large lady yeah, chasing, chasing a-, a cheese and maybe like with no a legs. dog had it on a leash and yeah. was running down the sidewalk. Yeah. But yeah. You're saying down a hill rolling cheese. Trying to, yeah. Since 1826, That's right. they have been holding the annual cheese The Braveheart days. Rolling <laughs> They race. take mushrooms and go to war. And then yeah. when they won the war, they were like, screw it. Let's chase cheese. <laughs> it's a seven pound wheel of double Gloucester. And uh, yeah. the, the hill is That's some good eating. near <laughs> vertical. And the woman said, near vertical, my butt. next thing I knew, I was unconscious. She knocked herself <laughs> out. And still won. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. Yeah. She still held on to it unconscious. She said, I think your body seizes up and you're like, oh, quote, does, if you do the Superman one, yeah, that, that. her quote is, I just remember hitting my head and now I have cheese. Oh, man. <laughs> That's what the C in CTE stands for. Good for her, though, for hanging on to the cheese. She gets to eat the cheese, right? Oh, it's all hers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. after it's been rolled in the dirt. Does that no? Nah, but cheese that cheese has got like a I know case that on Jason. It. I was making a joke. Oh, okay, sorry. Don't condescend. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't know. I'm not. No, you're oh, fine. Oh, there. <laughs> so you sent some videos. Yeah. Did you know tigers? I do know tigers. They got. <laughs> do you know them and crows? Uh huh. Got a memory. No. And if you mess with them, they'll remember. They'll remember. Damn. Dude. And get you, which is why I like tigers so much. I grew up at the LA Zoo. My mom worked at the LA Zoo when I was a Nuh-uh. kid. Yeah, like feeding what she feed. Uh, no, she worked in the membership booth. But I was. Uh, what does that mean? Oh, selling tickets. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I was in zoo camp. I got to bear. like, you know, hang out. I got to hold baby crocodiles. Yeah, and shit, like, stuff like that. What other baby things did you hold? <laughs> um, that's about it. Oh, but I did baby get baby tiger. No, I wish that'd baby be wolf? sick. You probably held a baby tiger, right? Yeah, one of your crazy. I've, trips I've to had Thailand a full size tiger on the groin. Oh. Yeah. Remember the tiger that was going to eat me mm-hmm. And then the guy had to spank the tiger Because he was coming over to eat me yeah, you, Whoa. Got, you got bit by a baby on the Oh way. yeah and a baby tiger bit me Wow Yeah. Damn I forget about that So this video is tiger orient Yeah I see well, You can't say that word anymore. Tigers are some of the most <laughs> vengeful animals on the planet And will take revenge on anyone who has wronged them Silver Lake bartender In 1997 a Russian poacher shot a Siberian tiger And left him for dead before stealing part of his meal Big The mistake. tiger later found the poacher's cabin And waited 12 hours for him to arrive Before tearing him to shreds Boom! Hell yeah That's awesome 12 hours just like Oh yeah? Yeah Oh yeah? I got time Yeah Yeah Shrugged off the bullet injury Oof. and was like, I'll just sit here for 12 hours stewing on how I'm going to eat your brains. Oh, man. And I'm going to go foot first, shithead. Foot first. I'm going to nibble some toes. And you can scream and you can run off. Oh, no, you can't run that, that yeah. far because you only got one foot that works. And then I'm just like, I don't even run. I just casually stroll, looking super stylish, doing yeah. the shoulder one thing. Claw out. Yeah, and then I'd be like, meh. And I'd be like, meh, meh, meh. And there you go, run again, pussy. And then you run and you cry, please don't. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> and buy a, rip off a piece of your like yeah. back of your leg. And I'm like, yeah, pretty freaked out about that, huh? Yeah. And then do the gouge of the stomach and pull his intestines out <laughs> yeah. and be like, ah, 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 and then do the face to face. Yeah. yeah. Just crush his skull with a big yeah. ass jaw. Yeah. Oh, tigers are bad. Side badass, mind. Man. I'm way more interested in the guy who hosted that video. Yeah, that guy he's, needs to not. I've got another video of him. Do you want to see it? <laughs> he looked like he's great. He looked like an eight-year-old who's in a barbershop quartet. Yeah, he boxes like this for sure. Oh, yeah. he puts up his dukes. Yeah. yeah, listen to this other one though. He looks like a mixologist. Pistol Pete. <laughs> Morbid facts. facts, part forty-two. In 1974, Ugh. Hall of Fame basketball player Pistol Pete Maravich told a reporter. 
I don't want to play 10 years in the NBA and then die of a heart attack at 40. Oh, no. He ended up playing 10 seasons before dying of a heart attack in 1988 Boom. at age 40. Yeah. The ancient Romans would often substitute criminals into plays for punishment. So if a character was killed in the story, a real criminal would be killed on stage. Badass. A man was wow. looking for his childhood home on Google Maps when he found both of his dead parents still sitting outside. Not that the urine of a diabetic contains so much sugar that it can be purified and made into a high-end single malt whiskey. Pretty cool, but Stanley this Stanley Meyer was one of the first to invent a car that was completely powered by water. <laughs> he claimed that it was capable of traveling across the country on just 72 liters of tap water which would have revolutionized the auto industry and made gasoline obsolete. But he was Shortly a Nazi. after Visit. building the car, Stanley died while meeting with investors. His Whoa. brother said he ran out of the restaurant choking, looked at him and said, they've poisoned me. Big gas. Wow. Big gas killed that guy. Yeah. yeah. Does that guy ever say sentences without that exact melody? That's no. the TikTok no, cadence. That's the whole, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Joel knows. Yeah. yeah. You gotta have a thing. Today, I was told I looked 39. <laughs> On Man, the that Jason is Ellis really... show. <laughs> now, okay, now I'm actually feeling bad about it. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna last that long. I... Yeah, like wait till I years. leave here. Yeah, relax. God, <laughs> I'm fine. I've accepted. It could it. be worse. No, it's fine. I don't care. I'm not running for my age. Does it, do you, does it bother you getting older? <laughs> not really. No, I, I don't want to be one of these. I mean, like when I started balding. I just said, screw it. I'll just shave it. I don't yeah, care. I'm not trying too. to look young. Like, I want to age you gracefully. You look cool, and, and you have a bald head. It'd be different if you, like, you know, guys that are just like, hey, yeah. man, I went bald. Like, white guys. Weird shaped head. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. Dude, like, nobody nobody should have sex with you. Like, that's not cool. Man. You, no problem. And then the head tattoo suits the whole vibe. Yeah. And you're in shape. Hey. So, what does, what's the problem? I feel like you're leaning a little more towards the compliments now because of the because everything mean that you said before this. It wasn't mean. No, I like what you're doing. Keep doing it. You're kind of cute. Thank all right? you. All right, cool. Yeah. You got uh, cute eyes. Can I, can I touch your knee? Yeah. You got cute eyes. I just want to feel that titanium. That's that one, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, you'll be all right. Okay. You have more videos? I mean, we can. Oh, wait, am I supposed to leave? Well, let's do another video. Yeah. There's a guy whose wife finished, or Miss Chick anyway, finished second in a beauty pageant. Okay. And boy, <laughs> is he upset about it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Way down Brazil way. Was it rigged? I, I don't know. How hot, Maybe how he, much hotter was his daughter? Maybe he <laughs> thought he had successfully rigged it for her. But maybe the other, maybe the the chick who won's boyfriend was even better at rigging things. Anyway, here's the. Uh... So these are the two finalists. Yeah. And the winner is. And that's gonna take a sec, and then the lady's gonna come out here. She's like last year's winner or whatever. Yeah, she's hot. See. And she's like, who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? They should she's just give the, it to the black chick again. She's got the tiara. And she's she's hotter than over too. one head and the other. And the winner is. Oh. Just get to it. Man, the butt's in there. I can smell them from here. They're probably sweaty from being nervous. Sweaty Brazilian ass. It's dripping. It's probably dripping down her butt. So they've butt. announced the winner, the girl tearfully they, reacting. They probably stink. And right here now. comes the dude. Oh! <laughs> Wait. Why wait, is so wait short? a minute. He spiked the crown? Again! Oh! I mean... Yeah, Pialine is pissed. Wait, he's not a... <laughs> he's not a dad. <laughs> I don't know. if Is he her husband? He's, not or, a, he's a gay guy. I didn't want to say I it. Can, I can say it. He does appear potentially gay. Yeah, it's a gay guy. Yeah. It is being reported that he's like, he is her partner, but he's... I, my, 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 my wife is the most beautiful woman yeah. on this... Stage. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to. Can I do? Is that okay? Yeah. I, and okay. gay guys can be mean to women too. I mean, they shouldn't, but right. they do. But they also grab to. titties and shit without yeah, asking. Yeah. Yeah. Which I don't think is cool. Yeah. I went. Never mind. We're gonna keep going. What? Would you go? I, one time I went. I went to an open mic, but before the open mic was a drag brunch. It was during Pride Week, and yeah. I was like, "Screw it! I'll hang out. I'll watch this." I hung out and got touched. A lot, yeah, hell yeah, and I and I I just kind of had to take it because I didn't want to be like 
I couldn't say anything because I didn't want them to think I didn't. But it was kind of. You didn't like it? It you didn't feel good? Well, it's, I'm not. I wouldn't mind. Like, Love if, it when drag like queens if, if you touch me. Touch, uh, no, it wasn't a drag queen. It was someone in the audience. Oh. It was like the audience member was like looking back. And obviously, like, I show up to a drag show during Pride Week. Maybe he just assumed uh, whatever. You do look a little gay. Being very, yeah, fine. Yeah. I love it. I'll take it. And he was being very, like, touchy, like, a little bit more. And yeah. I was just kind of, like, there with it. And Yeah, you're allowed to be like, hey, man, easy. Yeah. Because even if you're gay, you don't For have, sure. that doesn't mean everybody gets to touch it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I wonder. Cause Next time, I'll I'll regulate for that. Okay, great. I've had the experience of going to a gay bar and somebody just kind of groped me right off yeah. the bat, and then I go, okay, well, I'm pretty sure that flies here, mm-hmm. and everybody else who comes here knows that. Yeah. So, like, if somebody were to go to an open mic and there was a punk show right before that, and yeah. they wandered over by the stage and a mosh pit broke out around them, I would yeah uh, be bummed if they wanted to file assault charges. Yeah. You got to know when in Rome this is what flies. <laughs> it didn't. I, I thought the same thing, and I I, I was fine. I wasn't I'll yell hurt guys. by it. I'll snap on homos. Well, I go to the gay spa, and you try and touch me without eye contact, I will check you hard. <laughs> or if I'm, like, getting blown, you try to get in there. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know. Like, I'm busy. Okay. You know? Yeah. I hate that. Unless they're hot. It's been a great show. You can understand. Yeah, thanks for being on the show. Check hey. out, Joel, where can we see you on all the things that you do? Uh, I'm at Mostly Sorry on Instagram. I got a podcast called Dogs of Brown Town. I have another one called Lesser Known Characters. Uh, Lesser Known Characters Pod on Instagram. Dogs of Brown Town on Instagram. Uh, I played drums in Mad Peaceful at Mad Peaceful Band. I'll be at the Comedy Store July something. July. 4th. He's there all the time. Yeah, I'm there all the time. Just check my Instagram. Everything's up there. Thanks, Thanks for, for being me. on the show, dude. You're welcome. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Check out more JSL show at patreon.com slash alicemate. Don't die. Hey, everybody. Jason Ellis and Jason Ellis show. Do you like Joel? Joel's fun, right? Would you like more Joel? I could turn up the Joel if you'd like. There is so much more Joel. You might find yourself saying, oh, guys, too much Joel. No. But that's a risk we're willing to you're take. You're going to take it. You're going to take, take Joel. it. And you're going to like it. We got two more hours totally uncensored. Joel Berg, up your anus. Joel. No and lube. Many other guests, many shows without guests, shows with me, shows with just All Jason. All by myself. Nobody, nobody cares. Patreon.com slash Alice Mate. Thank you.